Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another episode in our revisiting fire lighting series. Um, and again today I want to talk about this potassium permanganate. Um, and I saw a video on another channel a little while ago. Uh, it was the, uh, whose channel was it? Uh, uh, Dimitri, Crazy Russian Hacker. Um, you're probably familiar with his channel, um, safety is obviously his number one priority um, and I really enjoy his videos so I thought I would uh, give a try to something that he did. First time I've tried it will be today so if this doesn't work I'm certainly going to blame him. Um, but what I'll do, let me move the camera just a little bit closer in and I'll show you what it is we're going to do. Right then guys, so here's our potassium permanganate and what I'm going to be using it in conjunction with is this which is just standard sugar. Um, and judging by the video that I saw, um, what you need to do is take your permanganate, tip that down there, and then take an equal amount of sugar, which I will just do very quickly off camera. So it's a 50-50 mix, and they both get mixed together. Now this is what's known as a matchless fire or a friction fire, um, call it what you like. And the idea is that you basically mix the two together um, so that they're kind of evenly mixed. And it may take me a couple of seconds while I'm talking. Um, and basically the act of crushing it together once it's been well mixed should make it light um, just by the heat generated from the friction. Now I'm certainly hoping that that's what's going to happen here, though I offer no guarantees. Um, and basically, you know, if you were to carry two small vials of this, or even if you carried potassium permanganate as part of your first aid kit, um, and you happen to have some sugar with your brew kit, potentially you've got everything you need to make a fire. Um, so this is going to be the first time I've tried doing this. Um, and the idea is you just put this on like this, we stand up so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, and the idea is you just have to grind it together. Now it's not working immediately, which is never a good sign. And I'm getting a rather fine looking powder coming out. Let's persevere and see what happens. Hmm. Well, we're not getting anywhere fast with this, guys. Um, I'll give it another couple of tries just in case. Not sure if it's the fact that I'm doing it on a metal surface, maybe. I'm certainly putting some force into it. And as you can see, the end of this piece of stick has gone very purple. Hmm. Right, back to the drawing board, I think. Going a different way helps. Ah, right, we had some life there. Almost, right, so maybe the way I was doing it wasn't quite right. But I can't seem to get the whole thing to light. above again. I'm not sure if I'm just not getting enough friction on it guys. Um, well, let's try it this way again. 
Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Oh, well, that's quite an aggressive flame as well, guys. I think the sugar um, obviously acts as quite a quite a good fuel source. I mean, it's a fairly slow, uh, sorry, fairly quick burn time. Um, but if you had a good tinder bundle underneath that, that would have worked quite well. Right then guys, well sorry about the slightly slow start there. Um, as I say, it was the first time I've ever tried doing this. It was more as a, a testing out the theory than anything else. It's probably not something that I would use um, regularly if I was out and about. And I think the glycerin works slightly easier. Um, but it's interesting to know that, you know, which is a little bit of sugar and a little bit of potassium, you can start a fire with a little bit of perseverance. And I'm sure with some practice you can, you know, get the, uh, the start time down a reasonable amount. Um, but I hope it was useful, guys, and say at least something just a little bit interesting. Uh, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.